Happy Wednesday. It's February 8th. I'm Stephen Graves with your news to go. This morning we are learning the Lyft driver from Palm Beach Gardens that went missing last week has died. In a Facebook post, 74-year-old Gary Levin's daughter wrote, My dad was truly a one-of-a-kind person. On Saturday, investigators with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement found the remains of a man's body in Okeechobee in the same area Levin's last lift ride was tracked. As of this morning, they have not confirmed if those remains are in fact of Levin. The investigation is still ongoing in that matter. Right now, West Palm Beach Police need your help finding a missing man. This is the photo they gave us of John DeGantz. The 28-year-old was last seen on 45th Street more than a week ago on January 29th. Anyone, anyone who may have information on where he could be is asked to call West Palm Beach Police. And the first step for more affordable housing in Palm Beach County starts today. West Palm Beach city leaders are breaking ground on the Coleman Park Renaissance Project. The nearly $20 million investment will build 43 apartments for low-income residents. It is aimed at helping some of the city's workforce like teachers, nurses, and health care providers. Mayor Keith James will be at the groundbreaking ceremony at 4 p.m. at Coleman Park on North Tamarind Avenue. Alrighty, and weather-wise, we're going to see daytime highs today in the mid to upper 70s. Beautiful. We have some clouds this morning, kind of stubborn, but those will break up throughout the afternoon. We'll see a partly cloudy sky condition with east-southeast winds off the ocean. That's your news to go.